Hey everybody. Now that I got the uh, turret off, I see how this is constructed. I knew there was a bracket underneath there, but I didn't realize what it looked like. And it has just occurred to me now that I took this apart that when I lift, when I lifted this machine to take it off of my pickup truck when I brought it home, and when I lifted this machine to move it over, try to put it in the tent where it wouldn't fit, and then when I lifted this machine to drive it over near the wood line to tarp it temporarily, which ended up being several months, I did all that lift and I lifted that all from the turret, hooked onto the ram, basically lifting all of this weight, which at the time was the table, the saddle, the knee, and the body of this thing, lifting all of that. And that was all being lifted, and all of that force was being exerted by the four bolts that hold the turret onto here into this bracket. This casting. I gotta give it credit for being as strong as it was and not failing. My point is, I'm thinking that was probably not a good way to lift this at all. And I was very fortunate that I didn't have a major failure. Breaking this bracket, having the turret rip off the top, having the machine fall, possibly damaging more items. So uh, that's my, uh, my opinion now on the subject is not to do what I had done. Well, I've got to quit for lunch and then we've got one of the last little league games of the year. So it's going to be later in the day when I get back here. Hopefully it'll still be light enough out that I can uh, do some things. But anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off this uh, elevation screw assembly. Um, it's not that heavy, so I'm not really worried about the weight. But it's easy to take off from the looks of it. It's held on by two big Allen head cap screws and uh, that'll be one less thing I have to worry about getting damaged in the moving process so we'll take that off as far as lifting this thing well unfortunately I didn't see in here what I was hoping to see there is a strut or a uh, part of the casting here that comes across but this castings purpose really is just to support this pin that the turret swivels on. Um, I don't want to risk lifting the machine from this casting because I'll be in a world of hurt if I snap that. So that's not going to happen. We're not doing that. But, and then it's pretty much, it's hollow. You can't really see because it's dark, but it's hollow. Hello, Luke, I am your father. It's hollow all the way down to the bottom there. So, uh, what I'm thinking I might be able to do is I got a couple of options here. I noticed, looking at that, that these little metal plates right here that are riveted on, they're just little sheet metal plates, and they would expose a large hole right there in the casting that is actually also, it's uh, beefed up. And there's one on this side, and there's one on this side, exactly opposite each other. And then there's actually two in the bottom also. So, I'm thinking, if I get these caps off, I could put a chain right through these two holes, pull my strap right through those two holes, and lift it that way. And the more I look at it, the more I like that idea over everything else. Well, Time to go make lunch for the kitties. Back at it. I have no idea how to take these kind of rivets out. I'd like to try and not bend the heck out of these uh, plates. Mm, that kind of works. a tool for this. Ah, I knew I had a small nail, nail puller somewhere. 
I think this might be the perfect tool for prying these out. Oh yeah, that works nice. I might even be able to just reuse these, tap them back in. That'd be, uh, that'd be nice. All right, on the other side. Oh yeah, I like this idea much better. My original thinking was to put a big bar through here and lift, you know, hook onto the bar and lift. Now, I think I'm just going to run my chain right through here, loop it, hook it, and then I don't have to worry about slipping off. All right. All right, so now I'm just going to take this off. The uh, knee elevation assembly. And as I had mentioned earlier, this is just held on with two bolts. It'll be pretty easy to take this off. Provided, of course, I have the right size. Guess I gotta do it with regular old Allen wrenches. So the only thing I have to remember about this is that this goes on with this fitting for the automatic one-shot oiler on the back side. Oh, wrong way. It's a left hand thread. Can't go any further without it sticking out of the bottom. Just want to make this shorter for storage purposes. Now it's getting too late for me to actually make the move to the basement today. I'm still going to make my ramp to go across the stair treads, but this is, uh, this is what I got for a plan. And I think what I'm going to do is, I think I'll lift it right now just to see how it sits. So my plan is to drive up to the bulkhead, get this over so that this is past the foot of the bulkhead, lower it down, and basically keep it lined up like this and hopefully as I lower it the bottom will want to through gravity go down the ramp and if I can get it to the point where I can get it so the back this whole back right here is sitting there hopefully it'll be pretty stable and it won't want to tip if I have to I can always hook on another I can hook something else up at the front here to try and uh, keep it from getting able to do this. Uh, that's it for today.